Together UF is another part of our initiative um, that we're working with, um, also the Big Nine and then other organizations on top of that. And it kind of started like towards the end of the summer. We basically want to address campus climate. It was ignited due to like Richard Spencer coming to campus, but we're um, hosting like a virtual assembly during the time Richard Spencer's speaking um, for people that want to stay inside and not protest. And um, basically we'll be talking about like race relations, hate speech, religion, um, just a bunch of different topics and we'll be having other events throughout the semester as well. Topics that people don't really discuss openly too much out in public are issues that need to be discussed regardless of his presence. And so we'll be continuing these conversations throughout the semester. And we're trying to engage in productive dialogue where we can engage across difference and try to understand perspectives of communities we might not necessarily belong to, but their opinions and values still matter. I think we got to engage with a lot of students. They like the Gators Not Hater shirts that we were handing out. We have these shirts, um, and you just have to take a picture with the shirt and post it on our event page on Facebook, and you get to keep it. So if you want a shirt, that'd be cool. Okay. So hopefully they keep up with our initiative like up until the virtual assembly and beyond because we would like to continue to engage students beyond just this one aspect of what we're doing. You know, it's really rooted in like positivity, but it's not meant to like erase, you know, the negativity that's associated with all these different aspects that we're talking about. So, and it'll be aired during the time Richard Spencer is speaking. So you don't have to feel like you're alone um, when this, he's on campus and so are all his followers and we'll be engaging on social media with people asking questions um, to kind of keep more like of a live aspect. I think that it'll, it'll be really interesting to see how it plays out starting on Thursday.